friends hi friends welcome back let us discuss about structures in c in this video a structure is a user defined data type and a structure can hold group of items of different data types so how to define a structure to define a structure we use the keyword struct followed by an identifier to identify the struct and followed by the different members of it for example i want to define a structure so i use the keyword strucd struct followed by some tagline tag name and it contains some data types data type variable one some another data type data type two variable two data type three variable three it can have any number of members like this and then i will close the struct and when i close the struct i can even declare a variable for this one for example i am declaring p1 and put a semicolon there this is how a structure is define it to define a structure we have three important parts to remember one is we use a keyword struct followed by any tag name that is identifier for the struct and it will contain some members the structure contains some members so for example if i want to define a struct like this struct employee so I want his name, so I am taking care, name, then I want his as, int as, float, I want to use a different data type, salary, and I can close the struct. So I can declare employee 1, e1, if I want, and I can close it. This is how we will define a structure so we can see that the above structure has three data members there were three members in the structure employee one is name second one is age and third one is salary and we can clearly observe that name is of type care age is of type int and salary is of type float so we can accommodate a structure can accommodate members of different data types in it okay how to initialize how to declare and initialize a structure so to declare a structure we can declare it at the end of the structure definition as we can see i declared e1 here or i can even declare it inside the main like this by using struct employee some name employee 2 this is how i can declare it and to initialize it there were again two methods one is at the time of uh, def defining it i can initialize for example i can say e1 is equal to so name some name followed by is followed by some salary Oops. or i can define it at the time of declaration when i declare struct employee e2 is equal to i can say like this i can assign the values name some name followed by is followed by his salary this is another way of defining it so we should remember one thing whenever we define a structure at the end we should give a semicolon whether you define the variable or not so i have not declared a variable even at the time at the end i have to give a semicolon i can define declare the variables in the program so this is how we will access for example after 
initializing this structure i want to access these variables so to access a member of a structure we use dot operator so what is this dot operator and how to use it dot operator is also known as member access operator so to access the name of employee 2 that is e2 we use e2 dot name to access the yes we use e2 dot s to access the salary we use e2 dot salary this is how we can access okay let us do a small program and, and close this video okay let us do a small write a small program on this now you know what is a struct so i am beginning my hash include yesterday or dot h so define your structure here to define the structure we use the keyword struct followed by the name of the struct i'm using employee so now i have to tell the members the first member is i want to take the name of the employee care name 20 int age float salary i want to use different data types at least three different data types i want to put it there for different members declare one variable e1 i am not initializing it int main now i want to declare another variable so to declare another variable of type employee struct employee i want to declare employee to e2 and initialize some values i am taking the name modi as 25 salary 89000 and let us initialize e1 here so e1 is equal to curly press let me give some name Razu is 35 and salary 41,000 I initialized both structures now let me access the variables there so I want to print the details of the employee print if employee 1 backslash n so details of employee 1 I want to print here printf name column percentile s backslash n and the next line I want to print is column it is integer percentile t backslash n and the next line I want to print salary column percentile point two f okay backslash n the first one is name name is e1 dot name then e1 dot is e1 dot dot operator salary and I'm just printing employee one details now. Let me run this. You can see this employee one name Raju is 35 salary 41,000. I can do it exactly for the employee two. I want to print the details of employee two. So name I'm taking print of employee 2 slash n 
for new line. So what should I do here? E2 dot name e2 dot age and e2 dot salary. Let me run this. That's a problem. E2, e2 is equal to okay. So you can see the error that a semicolon is missing after printf. So come here and put the and the semicolon. Now run the program. So employee one, employee two, modi is salary. You can see this. So this is about structures. I'm, I'm making a small change to make it look good. Let us, so what is happening now? So employee two, name modi, salary. I can add the same lines for employee one also if I want. So here to add the line, I am taking backslash n, add some lines, backslash n. At the end also, add some lines. Backslash. If I run it, no employee one was here. Employee two was here. Okay, thank you.